Hi. With this video I want to show you a special kind of transactional replication called peer-to-peer -peer replication. Peer-to-peer -peer replication is, as I said earlier, a transactional replication, but you can update data on uh, the subscribers and, and you can then share these updates between all the subscribers and the publisher. And I want to show you how that is working and uh, it's a little bit tricky in SQL Server 2008 to set it up, but in 2012 it has been made much easier. But we look at 2008 release 2 and see how transactional replication is working. And just to be sure, you have just seen a video I think about transactional replication and it is so that you can't send data back from the subscriber to the publisher in a normal transactional replication. What we'll do here is that peer to peer we'll do the same exercise but this time we'll be able to edit and update data at both uh, the subscriber, you only have one subscriber in this scenario, and, uh, and at the publisher. So let's try again. I go to replication, I right click and I click new publication. It tells us from the ERP database. I choose a transactional publication. I decide that I want to do the customer. Click next. Click next. I can create a snapshot immediately. I click next. And I decide about security settings. And I know that in all these videos I just skip this and click here. Of course, when you're trying to set it up at your own environment, you have to be aware of, of this page. It's very easy to understand, but for me it's just clicking OK now. Next, next, and I call it ERP. But now I have a publication. I know now that, as I told you earlier, I need to check that the I right click and check that the snapshot agent is running and the log is running, and I'm sure it's not running. That's because I have a more error in my setup, so I go to the SQL Server agent, I click on jobs, and then I find the jobs related to my um, publication, and there are two jobs. First, I take this one, and I click properties, and I change the owner. You see, and right click on this one, and I change the owner to the same. This is a typical error, that's why I'm showing it to you. I could have changed the setup on my server so that I would not have this problem, but I decided to keep it because of you will see this problem that the agents cannot start. So I look at this one, I click start. I also look at the uploader agent. Click start and let's try to see the snapshot first. Snapshot is the most important to start first. And everything is starting agent bulk copies. Let's wait for two seconds. And that's it. I can see the tra uh, snapshot is generated, and I can also see that now some transactions are delivered. So that's it. Now the difference between transactional replication and peer-to-peer -peer replication is that I right click, I choose properties, then I go to uh, subscription options, and here you have allow peer-to-peer -peer subscriptions. I change that to true, and I click OK. Please note this field peer originator ID. It's one in this situation. I might end up having some errors here because I have a I have a SQL server instance that I, I need to reinstall install at some point, point because I've done so many demos on it, so I might have corrupted it too much. Something easy. Take a little bit time. So that's it. Just need to check to see if the properties has been changed. So I do this here, I will right click, I will check properties, and I can see that everything has changed. So what, what I do now is that I will uh, right click here again and then I will configure peer to peer topology. This is a nice little user interface. I really like that. I say that the publication is ERP. Click next. 
I'm going to get the screen. I right click and I add a new peer node and I look at my instance to one. And I showed you the number one before, so now I change this one to two instead. Click OK. So now this one is one and this one is two. And I need to connect them now and the right click. And I add peer connection, I just draw it, link, and that's it. Click next. Then we have some security, and again in this demo, always just run on the skill server agent service account. If you have any questions about the security, then just feel free to call me at one point. Next. Click here. It's all about security, and we don't care about security in this video. Click run, run. Click next. Now I need to decide how we need to initialize it. I create the peer database manually, or I restore it for people. This has not been changed since. That's me. Next. Finish. And again, I might end up having some errors because the SQL Server agent has some problems with the uh, username. And that's quite normal. I could change it in the configuration, but it's quite normal because I want to show you how to fix errors. Just wait a second. So that's it. It has succeeded, but I'm not still not sure it's working. So what I will need to do now is um, go to jobs, I'll refresh. And I have three jobs here. So this one, I click properties. And yes, it's wrong user, so I click SA. I go to the other server, jobs. I say I have two jobs. I right click properties. This one. I right click, click properties, and say now I need to start all these jobs. So I right click, and click start. See, it's right, yes, right click. And click start. That's it. Yeah. Let's take the last job up here. I'll start the job. Great. I know that I've started all the jobs. Now what I want to do now is I want to test if the replication is working. So first, once again, I start at the publisher. I click the snapshots. I know that it has been run for a long time ago. Right click. Log reader, it's working. We go to the other instance, I click replication. I just have to wait a little bit. Right click and refresh. See if we can find something like this. And that's the nice thing about uh, peer to peer, then you also have publication at the other server. It's snapshot, and I think I need to. Yeah, there is no. Yes, it's okay. Using transaction status, two transactions are okay. So basically what I want to do now is uh, I want to see if we have any data in the two tables. Let's see. Did it? I need to the new one. First name. One is That's it. Uh, hopefully. We have that in the other database at some point. It might take a little bit. And you can see that I have. And I can see that I have both this record and both. Um, Zero one and zero two. So what I do now is on zero one. I'll try to first I'll try to enter something here. Right. First name from SQL zero one. I get an error. It takes some time. That's it. 
update it. I'll go over here. Launch refresh. So as you can see, then I also have the load in the other database. So everything is up to date, and I have now my kids' peer verification up running.